What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Can you put the collar on your ex? Welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. And in this one, anytime I have crypto on a long leash, his attention towards me is pretty much non existent. We're about to answer the long question Does a training collar work on my Siberian Husky? Most dog collars are pretty much identical. We have the controller, the charging cables for both power outlet, the collar itself. Then we have the tester to make sure that the collar is working, some different size prongs. Let's go ahead and put the dog collar on him. Sit, stay. When you're attaching the dog collar to your dog, you don't want to attach the leash to the training collar itself. Right under the gorge, which is their throat. So right there. That's how the collar looks on him. I do have the longest prongs attached. The collar itself only has one button, the power on button. As far as the remote, this thing has three different modes, which are indicated on the screen. There is a sound mode. The noise mode should work as a warning for your dog to gain their attention. The next mode is the vibrate mode. The third and final mode would have to be the shock mode. There's different levels. If you have a smaller dog, you would use the smaller prongs as well as the lower level. KZE, how do I find my desired level? Start off in zero, slowly increment the voltage. Soon as you see your dog react to it, that's the level you should start off in. That's exactly what I'm about to do. We're on seven, which is pretty low. This thing goes up to 100. You want your dog to be pretty calm while he's doing this so you can notice their reaction. We have the mode on 50 and it seems like he did notice. A little walkthrough of the remote itself. They have a mode either to switch from one training collar to another. They have a light. The Y is to actually activate the mode button switches between three modes. Now that we've pretty much gone over the functions and the buttons of the remotes, let's go ahead and show you some practical things you can actually use the training collar for. We're going to start off introducing this thing to the dog using the most simple dog command, which is the sit command. To introduce the device, you could either go straight to shock or you can start off in beep or vibrate I'm gonna start off in vibrate since I felt like that had most effect on crypto holding the leash and the transmitter on one hand we're gonna go ahead and give the dog the command while we press the stimulation button see 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 good boy as soon as they accomplish your desired action, which was to sit, go ahead and release them and let them free as well as praise your dog. You want to introduce the collar and make sure things are always fun for your dog. That's why it's very important you figure out what level your dog actually reacts to the transmitter. Let's try again. It is recommended to have a slightly longer leash just so your dog can feel slightly more independent. We're going to try the sit command again. Sit. God, boy. You're free. You're free. The most difficult part is going to be for you to gain your dog's initial interest. Let's keep practicing the sit command. This is for sure is the easiest way to introduce the training collar to your dog. Sit. Go boy. Crypto. Sit. Sit. Go boy. Go boy. You're free. You're free. <laughs> That's pretty much the sit command. Just keep repeating that. Let's move on to the second training command. For the second command, probably the most important command, the come command. Not to you. Pretty self-explanatory. Once your dog walks away, such as now, we're gonna go ahead and activate the stimulation button. With a little bit of tugging on the leash, we're gonna give him the command, and as soon as he starts coming towards us, we're gonna stop the stimulation button. So here we go. Come here. Come here. Nope. Go boy. Good boy. Okay, he did that one pretty good. Oh, boy, you're such a good boy. As soon as your dog starts walking away, hold the stimulation button and say the command. Come here. Good. Good boy. Good boy, Crypto. Sit. Sit. 
Good boy. Good boy. You're free. Of course, all of this is going to take a bunch of practice and time with your dog. Okay, this is a perfect time. Unwanted behavior. If you're trying to use this training collar to avoid unwanted behavior, all you would want to do is press the stimulation button. As soon as your dog stops, release the stimulation button. You don't want to praise your dog. You don't want to do anything when they're doing wrong behaviors. So just release the button and leave it at that. Let's go ahead and try out the shock mode now. A good level for a dog this type would be around level 45. Let's try and recall him. On shock mode. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. No. No. Good boy. See it. Sit. Good boy. I do notice he's kicking a ton. Like I said, with training, he'll get more accustomed to the collar. He won't try and act up towards it. Sit. Good. Sit. Good boy. Normally, if I'm trying to get this dog to sit down, I would usually either pull on his harness or his leash. You want to keep the training sessions nice and short, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this dog for a nice little quick run. You wanna go run? Yeah. Of course the dog notices that the training collar is there. For best results, it's always best to have a collar instead of a harness on while you're training your dog. You're not supposed to attach the leash to the training collar. You're supposed to have a separate non-metallic dog collar attached to your dog. You should always be trying to improve your dog's behavior as well as improving yourself. Look at me. Speak. Good. Speak. Turn. Oh, KZE, KZE, why does my dog piss so much? Why does he donkey kick? The reason why dogs piss a lot is to mark their territory. So you can say that's part of dominance. Look how bougie Crypto's tail is. That's dominance. When a dog pulls in front of you is dominance. There's a lot of ways that a dog expresses dominance. Crypto is a very dominant dog. Ah, uh, KZE, KZE, you should correct Crypto's behaviors. I wouldn't be able to train Crypto myself. I would always recommend taking your dog to a professional dog trainer. But the way this dog grew up, this dog grew up pulling me since one year old. Him leading, being in the front by itself is gonna really boost his ego. Brady. <laughs> he wants to go into there. Look at me. But hey, go, go, go. Oh, KZE, my dog doesn't run because he stops everywhere to piss. What can I do? When a dog pisses all the time, it's probably the biggest turnoff for me in a dog. The fruit is really good at doing that. That's the reason the fruit never goes out. Also because he's really old and he limps. The fruit's all kinds of messed up. His time is coming. I know a lot of you guys love the fruit. Wait for your dog to piss. It's natural instinct for your dog to want to piss and mark his territory. So just let the dog be a dog. As soon as a dog feels any type of tugging toward the leash, they will go against it. As soon as the dog starts to pull like so, just stop and go around them. This is something you can practice. Just practice this. This is a really nice exercise. It teaches your dog that they should be paying attention to you and the way you want to go. Is that Lobo? Is that Lobo? 
If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace.